Football is arguably the biggest sport in the world, and every country across the globe is keen to develop the game. Sierra Leonean entrepreneur and football administrator Babadi Kamara, whose love and passion for the game remains increasingly high, believes that developing football should start with standard playing facilities. This has been a difficult task for Sierra Leone and more definitely needs to be done. So, Babadi has taken the bold step to build a top-notch 6,000 capacity stadium, the Southern Arena, and a massive football academy big enough to admit hundreds of young footballers. This is happening in Bo, Southern Sierra Leone. We are doing a 6,000 capacity stadium for football and football de development. Um, we have two contractors. We have the local contractor and we also have the international contractor. The local contractor is basically responsible for the artworks, um, the pavilion basements, the, the, the retaining walls, the fence, car park, and the rest of the other artworks that as, mean, as you can see around. And we also have the foreign based contractor that who is from Turkey. They are responsible for supplying of all the pavilion equipment, the floodlights, the installation of electric cars, and everything that has to do with the pavilion and the electrification of the stadium. a very big project that requires a lot of funds, but by the special grace of God, I believe God will guide me through and will provide for me to ensure that this stadium is completed to the standard that we may all like to see, I mean, as Sierra Leoneans. And also, it's, in as much as it, it involves a lot of money, but we should not forget the fact that I am not doing this for me to come and sleep. I'm doing this for Sierra Leone. So at the end of the day, whatever it costs me, I believe it's worth everything because I'm doing it for my country and I want to give a facelift to football in my country. That is a, that will be my happiness and not necessarily the money I'm spending. Unbelievable passion for football indeed. Now let's have a picture of how the Southern Arena is going to look like. The Southern Arena upon completion, when you approach from, from the east end, you're going to see a nice car park, two set of car parks. You are encircled by four uh, pavilions, which gives us a 6,000 sitting accommodation. Of course, we have the four floor lights at the four corners of the pavilion. And the place will be completely fenced. The pitch will be artificial grass, very nice and decent. The pitch is 68 meters by 105 meters. I think I can authoritatively say that this is going to be the largest pitch in Sierra Leone as far as football pitch is concerned. Under this pa the pavilions, the cover stand too, and open stands too, those cover stands are going to have a lot of facilities. The locker room, the VIP lounge, general lounge, and conference and tactical rooms, restaurants, gymna gymnasium, a power control room, a generator house, out to outside toilets that will accommodate 40,000 litres liters of, uh, of water to be utilized by the arena. Those outside toilets are in addition to the toilets that we already have embedded into the covered stand pavilion. Two or three boreholes will be constructed and over there you will also be greeted by the academy hostel which will have its own components that will come like 30 students to 30 players. The standard is absolutely international and it is being done to make sure that 
It meets the international standard for CAF and any other government, football government, uh, international body. And we, they can host any international football uh, match in this arena. The project is multifaceted in terms of uh, the different uh, group of guys that are actually intervening into delivering the so many components of it. So my estimation, looking at all what we're doing, people are working day and night. I'm quite sure all the teams are committed to having this place delivered by June end of 2022. But what do the community people, including the youth, think about this development? First of all, like a good initiative and like a good development for the community itself and then Bolton to be specific. A like good thing that they were very much happy for them because of the boost of the, the, the sports and the community and like for the country. If you don't get a stadium like a community, you go, so, you go see say, more interest go there in the football because they will say they have 6,000 6, capacity. They will hope and pray say more and more good things like this will happen in time of football issue. We're very more happy for them. I tell Almighty Allah thank you and praise to Babadi because now the type of motor man and they when a good patriotic citizen who brothers and whether they play football, they be the strain because people them they talk say football in this country and I'm not see no development, no other thing. Now where this man can be this stadium I have, it they motivate the youth then. Saturday games and they will lose target for the host. They will play now. Where man and able pay transport he go. Man they come up here man now because they play short. High long they can watch game now easily. Then they pay transport go free time because accommodation and be threat to them by them. But where don't can be like we really appreciate to her. Let God give them more endurance and let do more. I will pray to God. Let God make we get more of inside them in this country. This stadium where they did now. I feel fine and happy. See your statement. I'm glad it's all over. Glad it because we're happy in the development of the area. Then we bring where are they now? Yeah, where are they? Say me drinks and go. Where they say go sell. But now sell no be there. But now where this trade don't get for car up here. I get for sell. I get money now. They glad it for them. What's the people what they do? I'm glad it's all over that. What a huge relief the stadium is going to bring for Sierra Leoneans, and this clearly complements government's efforts in national development. I'm doing this for Sierra Leone. I'm doing this so that when I die, people will know that there was a Sierra Leonean who stood for his people, who did something great for his people and his nation. I'm not assured I will ever get my money and put into this project. But what is most important, the happiness that I will give to Sierra Leoneans, the happiness that I will give to the people of this country can never be quantified in monetary terms. If I see a national team, Leone Stars playing here and winning matches for Sierra Leone, that would be my greatest satisfaction. For instance, let's say Burundi just qualify for Champions League, Africa Champions League, and we go out, we go play in other countries, and when they come here, they see that yes, we are up to the standard also. We play